Hello, my name is Professor Lunchbag, the new reporter for the Kansas Geological Survey. With me today is Olivia Jones, who manages the Core Library. Hello, Olivia. Thank you for joining me. Please tell us what you do for the survey. Hello. I manage the Drill Core Library at the Kansas Geological Survey, and I work with a variety of researchers. In addition to this, I process their requests to look at core, and I'll take pictures of the core boxes and fix any sort of data on the boxes before the researchers come and look at them. I think this is a good time to ask, what is core exactly? Core is a cylindrical rock sample that has been extracted from the ground. And how is it extracted? We use a drilling rig and our crew will mount it on a truck and take it out into the field and they drill two inch core with it. And so how many core do we have exactly at the survey? We have nearly 70,000 core boxes. Amazing. And uh, do you work with just scientists, private people? Who do you work with exactly? Something really interesting, I think, is every time a bridge is built, a core has to be drilled first to check the competency of the rock underneath. Um, KDOT drills that core, and then they bring the core to us. And so we are the repository for the Kansas Department of Transportation cores as well. Excellent. So not only do you work for private individuals, but you also work for departments of the state. How do you manage it? How do you keep track of all this core around you? I have lots of student workers who help me and we have a database. Um, you can go to the KGS website and look through our database and see all of the cores in our collection. Now I understand there's going to be a new space built for the survey. Can you please tell us more about that? Yeah, so we plan to double the size of our current core library at the survey. So instead of housing about 10% of our collection, we hope to store roughly about 20% of our highly requested cores and our most sensitive collections, such as our salt cores. Salt? Why is salt need to be stored in such a controlled environment? When salt gets hot, it sweats. And so it needs to be in a climate controlled environment to help preserve it for future research. Excellent. Olivia, before I let you go, I would like to ask you two final questions. First, how does your job help advance science and how does your job help serve the people of Kansas? The Kansas Geological Survey houses one of the largest core collections in the United States. And so we have that material for researchers to continue that important work in the future. And the way that this serves Kansas is that we can learn more about our aquifer and our energy capabilities. Excellent. Olivia, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you sharing your expertise. <laughs> and for the rest of you, don't forget to donate to the Kansas Geological Survey on One Day, One KU. See you next time.